one most likely to throw a fit on for the gram? I know my answer. I'm going to say thank you. Oh, hold on. Wait. Yes. No. Oh, we got Jay. a new person. We got Lil Jay. Oh, Jay. He puts Happy. it on. Matter of fact, pl- plug your Instagram right now. Uh, it's Javen, J-A-V-I-N-N. All right, bet. I'm telling you. Now y'all, now y'all know. Check the fits out. No, very yeah. impressive. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> He's a little cowboy on. Cowboy, everything. Right. I appreciate hey, it. you better tell him we from that side, boy. <laughs> I get it. <laughs>what's going on y'all welcome back dog talk episode number two and with me in the building today we got the tlu football team we got dj lewis defensive lineman qb1 k mosenko we going? also got running back javen logan in the building as well um appreciate y'all for coming on man how y'all feeling uh, good good, good to be here good. yes sir that's what's grateful up. to be here um i know fans don't know this but Kaden and dj this is like their third time now trying to film this episode. <laughs> Trial it's, and error, baby. Yeah, third Trial time's a charm with this one. So, um, third time's a charm. Yeah, so we're going to get right to it. Uh, how's uh, Since fall camp's been over, man, talk to me. How, how's the game week prep been, all that? It's been pretty good. You know, we've been getting after it. You know, big thing we've been talking about is iron sharpens iron. So mm-hmm. offense and defense going at it, you know, every day. You know, just the little things, either like inside, you know, where linemen are going against linemen or seven on seven where skills are going against skills, you know, we're just – we're just trying to get better and just build off of that and, you know, get ready for week one, mm-hmm. which I believe uh, we're pretty we're pretty much ready. We're ready to go. We've, we've been patient, but it's starting to get where we're impatient. We're ready to go see another color and that, right. get to see that maroon. Yeah, yeah. We're, ready to, we're ready to go play, man. Like I said, we we owe them already. Right? So, mm-hmm. like, at the end of the day, man, we, we got to come with it. And plus, like, Coach has been holding all of us accountable, especially the leaders, you know, the so-called leaders of the team, we got to be held accountable mm-hmm, for, for our sure. actions. And just because, like I said, it's going to be a lot on us, and it's going to be a gut checking day for a lot of us. So mm-hmm. we have to make sure, you know, we just stay on top of it through, you know, throughout the week and everything. Yeah, I say the intensity and the focus has been very, very high this past week, just on both sides of the ball, offense, defense, just winning days, winning today as we have practice and just, you know, Ready for Saturday. Ready for a big day today. That's what's up. Y'all do. We talked about it off camera, too. I mean, big season ahead for y'all. I mean, I feel like y'all put the time in and y'all are ready to shine against against the top team. Uh, Caden, now I want to kind of switch gears a little bit. Talk about going into year three for you, man. QB1 role. Talk about how you how you feel you prepared for the role and what you expect this season from yourself. Yeah, you know, like uh, last year, you know, backup quarterback, mm-hmm. you know, uh, behind Seth Cosme. Uh, one of our one of the big names around here, mm-hmm. um, you know, just just learning from him and you know being able to being able to see see what he does and you know just be a sponge and soak and take everything in and you know like just be patient and wait for my moment and I got to get thrown kind of into the fire you know mm-hmm. last fourth quarter four minutes to go against Sol Ross and be able to you know bring us back and tie and barely barely lose that game so. You know, I had a got. I was able, and blessed to have a lot of experience in the, on, you know, mm-hmm. on the field, and you know, just build off of it, and just you know, get get used to the college, for sure, the college football gameplay, because you know, this is another level. You're playing 100%. against grown men. You're not playing against 18 year olds anymore. You know, it's a different speed, yeah, different mm-hmm. level aspect, bro. Yeah, I, I know what you mean, bro. So yeah, just I'm, I'm excited. You know, going into year three, you know, I kind of kind of got some experience on the field, so yeah. I'm. I'm I'm ready to roll, ready to do what I gotta do to help mm-hmm. the team out to be sex- successful. Yeah, that's like, huge, bro. Mentally, like, mentally yeah. I feel great. You, you know? feel great. I mean, I know you're ready to be out there, bro. <laughs> you know, when you got when you got good people around you, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, it's, it, it makes it, it makes it it makes it a lot easier on you. You know, and, you know, I'm calm in the pocket because of the line. You know, mm-hmm. I feel like I can throw the ball to any of the guys out there, even yep. my running back. You know, just like I said, my my, jo- my job is to get it to the playmakers. You know, they make, they make me look good. Hundred <laughs> percent. Uh, DJ, we'll pivot to you, man. You're four now, big yeah, senior. Yeah, uh, talk about um, what you expect from yourself this season, like being the leader of the defense and holding down the, the D-line group. Really just, you know, patience because a lot of, you know, a lot of things with defense is up-tempo. You know, you got to gotta stay on your P's and Q's and really mm-hmm. you got to game plan for the teams and use great strategies. And, like, what we've been doing, I mean, the film time and everything, it's just been, you know, up to par with everybody and, Plus, just being a, a I'm a I'm a you know play first type of leader, man. I mm-hmm. show with my pads before anything. I talk, and that's just the way I came up. But like, I know coaches want me to be more vocal because they know I have that type of aspect to uh, you know with the players. They're gonna listen mm-hmm. half of the time. So 
really just I really want the defense to shine like how we're supposed to because as a collective group, man, we, we're coming together and the brotherhood is just getting better and better each and day each day and day. Mm-hmm. And plus the offense pushes us to be like the greatest we can. And I really Vice versa. I hope y'all see our O line, bro. They are forced to be reckoned with this year, man. I'm For telling sure. you. Another thing, let's. I want to stay on this topic of the the leadership thing, man, because I'm right. I'm kind of on the same time in this year too. I mean, year four for me. Year four for you. Yeah, same thing about the t- basketball team, man. Yeah. Uh, trying to be more of that vocal leader. I've always been a leader by example. I feel like, right. but it's different being vocal. How, is, how is the balance between that, bro? Like, I think I know it's hard. Yeah, bro. it's tougher uh, preseason. Right. Like right now, we just got like open gyms and stuff. Everybody just filling each other. Yeah, hundred percent. Like everyone's trying to prove themselves, which that's that's how it be every year. There's a new right. new competition in front of you, behind you, all that. Right. But no, we got a good group, and all the guys are responding well right now. I'm sure it's been the same for y'all. I mean, good, yeah. we both got high expectations for ourselves this year, so no, I'm excited for it. Yeah. yeah, bro. Like I'm iron sharpers see, iron, bro. like you said. Yes, iron sharpers iron. Excited to see y'all play though, for sure. You know yeah. we're gonna pack it up. For sure. Uh, I, I'm gonna switch over to Jay over here, man. Uh, hey, hey. Talk talk about your journey, man, and and yeah. how you got here, and what what you bring to this football team, man. Yeah, I feel like I bring this my aroma and this my characteristics and this the person that I am and who I am and who I what I believe in. Like like we go back on the leadership leadership aspect. Basenko is more of a vocal leader than mm-hmm. I am. I'm more of a do first. And say less, you know what I mean? 100%. But Sanko, I feed off Sanko. If Sanko is very vocal, he get us where we need to be, stuff like that. But my journey, it's been up and been down, but I will, I will forever say it's grateful and I'm mm-hmm. thankful for this journey at TLU. I've been ineligible last year for both of my sports and just being able to have an opportunity from Coach LeHue and Coach Gus just allowing me to just bring my energy and just bring my presence back mm-hmm. here on the team. It, it, it boosted me to another level in my life and not just football, just everything. And I just love who I am mm-hmm. as, as a player on this team and what I bring to the team, even when I'm not playing. You know what I mean? When I'm yep. sitting on the sideline encouraging the young guys and just getting everybody the way that TLU football is supposed to be. All so right. I just say, you know, I just love being here. And that yeah. journey, I never take it for granted. 100%. I cherish it each and every day. Hey, shout out to Jay, man. No, hundred percent. Jay, bro, he's man, a big he, presence. Like I promise at you. At practice, bro. If I need, if I know, if he know I'm feeling down, he's gonna give me up. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's just like we 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 mock players to be just like Jay, man. Because like at the end of the day, he's the one that keeps us going. Like when I was a sophomore, going against him uh-huh. in scout, it was. Hell. I'm talking about Jay. <laughs> Bro, Jay's bringing it, bro. Yeah, run for the money, bro. Like he run for his money, and he gonna talk a little smack after, bro. <laughs> and like, but that's the character he has, though. Uh-huh. You feel me? At the end of the day, like you, you can't ask for nothing, you know, nothing yeah. more. You feel me? Hey, so. I, I can vouch for him too. I don't know, y'all probably don't see it. This dude is at every basketball game, every <laughs> practice. I'm telling you, bro. Sometimes I feel like he on the team, on the basketball team too, bro. For those that know, y'all know Jay. Jay is everywhere, bro. So. Hey. I have anything that if y'all don't believe them, I I can vouch for Jay too, right, man. You, of course, bro. <laughs> sure. Um, I want to pivot here with Caden, bro. We touched on it in the last pod. They didn't really get to see it, but I want to dive into it a little bit more. Night this dude was on Friday Night Types <laughs> back when it was peak. So oh, talk was. talk talk about it, bro. Talk about the whole experience and, and the team you played for, everything. No, it was very it was very awesome. Mm-hmm. I would I would say that you know. Um, getting your pads took before a game, putting the mic on you, you mm-hmm. know, that's like stuff pe- some people dream of, you yeah. know, at 11, 12 years old, mm-hmm. I was able to do it, you know, hearing myself in the shows, talking yeah. to like, to my boys, you know, just, just growing, just, just growing up and, you know, playing really good teams, you know, and that kind of like put a target on our back, you know, and honestly, it held us to a higher expectation. So I kind of like felt, I felt like it's all, I've always had that growing up, you know, Playing teams out of out of Cali, mm. out of Florida, out of Illinois. Team, right? I played. I met Snoop Dogg a couple That's times. That's crazy. Like, yeah, he yeah. He called. He tells. He told me call me Uncle Snoop. So it was. It was pretty <laughs> cool. It's a, it's a very humbling experience. You know, it, it was it was awesome. You know, being on Netflix and everything. It was just just a very cool you know experience. You know, having cameras, getting interviewed, mm-hmm. freaking. People bring people bringing me stuff like food and you know getting all the new gear. Like it was a little celebrity. Basically. Yeah, hey, bro, it was like the it impact, was pretty cool. It was bro, pretty the cool. The impact Friday Night Tikes had on me as a kid, bro, because I played for the same league and mm-hmm. we will always get to play San Antonio teams if we made it to the playoffs. 
And like, bro, I'm watching. I'm watching Friday Night Tights putting my pads on, getting ready for practice. <laughs> like, that's how good it was, and that's just the that's just the impact Texas football has on kids mm-hmm. as youngins, bro. And I mean, I can't speak for it now because you know. We got iPad kids and stuff now, bro. But like, <laughs> I was putting on pads, getting ready. I'm talking about making me some noodles before practice. Like, that's the, that's the vibe for me, bro. So, like, mm-hmm. I grew up watching, bro, play now to play with them, bro. Like, you can't really even ask for no nothing more. And like, it's it's a good experience, bro. And you played against Caden too. Yes, yeah, bro. One time, that's yeah, crazy. It's crazy, man. And now y'all here. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's up. Uh, another thing I want to touch on, we we talked about on the last pod that again none of y'all are gonna see. I might bring that up a few times that no one got to see it, but uh, it's a good one. Yeah, it was. It was it's really gonna stay in the archives right. forever, probably. <laughs> but um, DJ, you brought it up because Cole, we had Cole last, on last time too. We're all coaches' kids. Me and me and right. DJ are coaches' kids. Cole Cole is as well. Um, Cole Andrews tied in on the on TLU football. But DJ, kind of talk about what because um, again, not too many people. We're kind of in rare situations with being a coach's kid and kind of yeah. talk about how it's prepared you for college and the pros yeah. and cons of it, I guess. Just really the expectation part of it, bro. Like, you you got to set high expectations for yourself because my dad always told me it's a highlighter on your last name, bro. Mm-hmm. And you got to understand, I carried that through my legacy, so you got to carry it through. And, like, I've always had that type of chip on my shoulder. As a kid, mm-hmm. too, just knowing that my dad played football, Mm-hmm. And like you know, he, he expected like you know what I'm saying. He didn't he didn't go for none of the you know uh, whining or none of that. It was you know nut up or shut up, bro. And like I mean, as a kid, bro, it would kind of like mess with me uh, a little bit. But then like as I get older now, and I understand like man, like that shit like shaped me to the man mm-hmm. I needed to be because like you see just like everybody how you know. Just how everybody handles situations, and you wonder why you handle situations like you do. But I remember it was a week, uh, a day before a playoff game, I broke my uh, pinky. Really? Like at practice. I, uh, y'all won't believe it. I did play slot in high school. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I broke my pinky. We're running routes. I was running routes. <laughs> and I, you feel me? I went to go catch the ball, and my pinky was sitting on my, uh, my ring finger. Then, you know, I looked at my dad. He was like, nah, it ain't nothing wrong with it. He popped it back in place. I played the next. <laughs> And we end up winning. Uh, I think we played a team in Giddings, and we, you know, what I'm saying it's just that type of mentality, you know, that that you know, what I'm saying you got to keep going, bro. Because at the end of the day, you gonna be looked at as a coach's son, no matter what. So yep. like, you feel me? You gotta have that, you know, expectations set high for yeah. you. Well, I want I wanted to keep staying on this topic. For me, at least, I'm sure it was the same for you. Was it the kind of deal where your dad had to be on you more to make sure you didn't look like the favorite? Was that right, a thing for you? Because that was, was that's like, how it was for me. It was like they knew, like who he was talking to. Like my dad raised his yep. voice. It was a certain uh-huh. like, rage, you <laughs> yeah. feel me? like it was a certain anger he felt, and like it just hit home for me. I mean, bro, I used to hate having my dad as a coach. But, like <laughs> looking bro, back though, you, looking back, uh-huh. bro, it's a it's a true blessing, bro. Because like you don't got no a lot of coaches that you you know have. They don't really care as a player. You know what I'm saying? And plus, my dad was a a dad to a lot of other kids, bro. Mm-hmm. He was. I remember Emmanuel Sanders coming to stay over my crib because, you know what I'm saying, his people didn't have, you know, the right situation where they were going on. And, like, you know, that that stuff carries on over. And, mm-hmm. like, you will see, and that's the kind of person I want to come, will become because, like, at the end of the day, it's a it's, it's way outside of coaching, bro. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And, like, once you have that aspect on and off the field, that respect level that you will have from people is just, like, you know what I'm saying, people come up to my dad all the time just th- praising him. And I never really got to see the, you know, the upside of it, but I'm just mm-hmm. like, I, I see it now as I get older. Yep. So I'm the same way. I remember growing up in high school too, especially every day. Is I, it was t- I, I hated it sometimes, yeah, man. But looking yeah. back, it, it really was like a, a good situation for me, and I'm sure it was the same for you, bro. Yeah, yeah, uh, but uh, I want to pivot here. We got the new college football game coming out. Y'all been playing it, y'all. Yeah, y'all got a little dynasty yeah. going. What y'all, what y'all, how, how y'all like the game? I was playing it all night last night. I got mad at 2K, so I was like, you know, let me yeah, go, to, go to NCAA real quick. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. New Jersey's too tough, bro. Y'all got to look at SMU stuff, bro. SMU jerseys? Like, it's a sleeper? Like, bro, sleeper. <laughs> sleeper, bro. Sleeper. Yeah. The game's fun. I mean, I feel like when they first came out, some players were overpowered. Yeah, no, like, they definitely all, patched it a little bit. Yeah, like Ollie, like Ollie Gordon bro, from Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. State oh my goodness, I I pressed circle a good solid, <laughs> solid spin move. ten times in one run. Like 
and go score. And people would, my friends don't even like playing. They make, they make me not play with them. They don't let me play with them anymore. <laughs> when I play my friends, they're like, no, nah, you can't use, you can't use them. So I think TLU in the game too. I think Bryce, but did y'all hey, download the, the team builder of we TLU? Did. We did. We did. I downloaded it, but I mean, I played like once uh-huh. and then like it didn't have our names or nothing. So I was, I was like, oh, okay. that was the message I was going to ask just if y'all were actually yeah. in the nah, game. It's yeah, like, no. it's like, it looked like our player builds on there, but it's not like our, our names, our actual yeah, name. So. I feel you. like our jersey well, I numbers are on there. To see yeah, it, like, yeah, no. tell you the, it was yeah, pretty that's cool. What's up. It's cool to see our jerseys and the bulldog yeah. on the field. Yeah, then the field too. The field looked <laughs> yeah, like, like, realistic. It was, it was pretty it looked- cool. All right, so now we're going to uh, pivot here. we got a little mini game segment kind of had on the last episode. We're going to do a most likely to challenge. So I want y'all to point between y'all three, between y'all three, uh, who's most likely to, to in these scenarios. So first one, most likely to be late to the bus. Right, I'll we, say myself too. You're going to say yourself? You're going yeah. to rat yourself out? Yeah, I'll be angry. I know why Katie's better than me, but we ain't even going to talk about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next one. Most likely to be caught watching your own highlights after the game. Sanko. Is Kaden? Yeah. Is Kaden? Yeah. He QB one. Yeah. He QB one. Uh huh. You're getting the extra work. He's getting the charge. I will say sometimes you gotta remind yourself that you're him. You know, you gotta. Nah, for sure. You, you having a, you had a bad day of practice. I might watch an old highlight just, just yeah, make, yeah. make myself feel better. Catch me watching something here and there. <laughs> for sure. Uh, next one. Most likely to celebrate crazy after they make a play. Is DJ? Yeah. <laughs> you said Kaden too? I mean, Kaden, like, you got to really get him in that mode. Yeah. Like, yeah. He going to uh-huh. get there, though. I <laughs> yeah. promise you. But he, <laughs> he like, mode, though. It's, it's, it's different on the defensive end because, like, when we make that play, like, we got to let it be known. Yeah. So, so, you get a sack, what you doing? Man, y'all going to have to see, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm 13. Oh, no, guys. Oh, no, guys. Hey, what you going to do, bro? What you doing? Touchdown. You know, I'm simple. He's simple. Know, you yeah. shake, you shake, 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 shake my hand. Hit the ball to the ref. He's going to shake my hand. Y'all know. Y'all know. Don't do too much celebrating, man. All right. Uh, next one. Most likely to throw a fit on for the gram. I know my answer. I'm going to say thank you. Oh, hold on. Wait. Yes. No. Oh, we got a new person. We got a little Jay. Oh, Jay. He puts Happy. it on. Matter of fact, p- plug your Instagram right now. Uh, It's Javen, J-A-V-I-N-N. All right, bet. I'm telling you. Now y'all, now y'all know. Check the fits out. They're very yeah. impressive. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. He's a little cowboy on. Cowboy, everything. Right. I appreciate hey, it. you better tell him we from that side, boy. <laughs> I get it. You do it all. <laughs> yes, sir. That's how it's got to be now. All right. <laughs> got to be versatile, man. You have to. Be versatile, man. All right, last one. Most likely to be on Ox. Oh, Senko. Senko? Yeah. He, 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 what, he, what, are you, what you playing? He Fire. Playing, he, Fire. He play Houston music. Just stay Houston music. Mm-hmm. Like, he plays Scarface, Zero, Big Pokey, UGK, like, uh-huh. you can tell. That's my type me? of stuff. That's yeah. Just, yeah. That's just, but, like, that's, <laughs> like, that's how my my dad, he played type of stuff. So, I'm like, damn, bro, how you know? Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> I'm but like, take on. I got yeah, you. So. But I'll throw on some country here yeah. and there. Well, nah, and so. it, but it'd be like a mixture. Like, yeah, I try to mix it up. That's he knows where I'm at, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> he going to keep it right, too. He going to keep it. You feel me? You got a nice little groove with Sanko uh-huh. on the Ox, man. I'll keep you on your toes. Yeah. Like, oh, wow, I haven't heard this in a while. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> All right, uh, next little mini game we're going to do. I want y'all to blindly rank these NFL teams. All right, so All we're right. doing five? Five, yeah, okay. one through five. I'm going to give you all the five teams, all right? And y'all, this is y'all's own list together, so y'all working together. So on working this. together. All right, first team, the Cowboys. Five. 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 Yeah, five. None of y'all Cowboys fans? I'm not no, either. I'm not a Cowboys fan. I've never been. Lie, bro. I'm cool with CD, though. Like, okay. my pops cook for CD, but, like, nah, I can't even. <laughs> Uh, y'all just made a lot of people mad too because I know there's probably a lot of Cowboy fans watching that's hey, sorry cool. right. y'all going to Super Bowl this year or what <laughs> nah, they're going to be crying about two, two, two more weeks yeah. they're going to lose their first two and then be like ah man <laughs> I just right. didn't post about that too <laughs> right, so the Cowboys are at five next team the Patriots that's my team so I'm a ooh you're, no, you're well, a Patriots fan yeah I am but like I I heard that we got <laughs> we got we got to hey. agree here I'm not putting a one or two we yeah. put on four, bro. That's okay. cool. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I was thinking that. I was yeah, thinking that. Yeah. I was yeah. thinking that. Let's be realistic. Patriots haven't been the Patriots, you know, we Since used Brady left. Seen. Yeah, this yeah. is current current rankings. Since Brady's been going. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. I'm going to give them the four. Four. They, they still my dogs. We got top three. All right, Let's so we got the we bottom got. spots filled. One, two, three left. Next team, the Ravens. Two? Yeah, two. That's what I was saying. What do you think? Or one? Two. Two, yeah. Two. All right. Ravens at two. Next team, the Texans. Ooh. For right now, bro. 
Do you want his? Oh, wait. Yo, we got to think about it. Boys too, we so. we got to think about it because who's, who, who's yeah, yeah, one more team yeah, after exactly. this. Exactly. Because what I if it's like the Redskins? I mean. Commanders. Commanders. I'm sorry. Commanders. So three? Where the tech? Where the Texans going? I mean, Ravens are at two. Uh, Ravens are at two. I get a Texan. Well, three three Texans. Three, yeah. I can't do the city. I'm, like, I'm scared. Uh, I'm scared. Nah, nah, can we switch them? <laughs> no, we this is, that's, uh, not, that's the point of the game. You're at one and three left. Where are the Texans going? Should we just put them at one? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Put Texans at one. I put Texans at one. Texans at one? Yeah, let's do it. Let's yeah, just yeah, do it. I mean, Texans yeah. at one. Ooh, okay. So Texans at one. Last team, the Kansas City Chiefs. Three. 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 That's like crazy. Three. I, yeah, I don't I like the Chiefs, Chiefs so it's yeah, fine. So yeah, they're fine with me. I'm tired of seeing him, bro. Like I'm kind of mad at Packers were hater. Uh, okay, we I feel that. The Seahawks, <laughs> man. The Seahawks, man, man. All right, so that's the that's the full list. How y'all think I did? Not Ooh. bad. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Pretty this, solid. It could have been worse. So- the so- if y'all watched the soccer episode, they 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 botched that list. They <laughs> they ranked the FIFA teams. They had USA number one. And team ah. USA has been been down, but that's the final list for y'all. All right, last one we're gonna end off with just some quick hitters for all three of y'all to answer. Um, y'all kind of just talked about this, but favorite NFL team? Uh, I'm going Seahawks. Seahawks, Green Bay Packers, Packers. Jeez, you said man. you're a Patriots fan. Patriots. Patriots. Right. What about you? I'm a Giants fan. Giants. We're, we're, we're down right now, but, but we <laughs> yeah, hey, got we, some players though. Yeah, got some players. My reason why I'm a Giants yeah, well, fan. My I'm earliest childhood sure. memory watching an NFL game, I seen the, the helmet catch. Yeah. Okay. And that instantly, I was like, that's my team. Okay. <laughs> that, that's how. That's where it started. Hey, since then, since that. I've been a fan, we've kind of sucked. Hey, y'all were on hard hard knocks this year, right? I think it's like the off-season one or whatever. I'm still – don't talk about Saquon. No, no, it's uh, it's Chicago Bears. The Bears are the Bears. on right now. But they had like the off-season the one. Hey, but yeah. they had this – they had some in the summer. It was in the off-season. It was yeah. off-season. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, next one, uh, favorite movie. Eight Seconds. Eight Seconds. That's a good one. Spirit. Spirit. The horse. Yeah. Ex- <laughs> Expendables. Expendables. Yeah. That's a, Three. That's an OG. Yeah. That's a good picture. Terry Crews, A two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, next one. Favorite TV show? Uh, I like Martin. Martin? Yeah, yeah. Martin. Mm-hmm. You got it. Favorite TV show? Uh, it's a tough one. It's a, it's a show. I, mm, Atlanta. I'm Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what TV shows I watch. No, I'm just gonna say a uh, resident oh, alien. The shot. I'm trying to the shot. <laughs> resident shot. alien. Yeah. Y'all seen Game of Thrones? Or please tell me. No. 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 <laughs> Can't get DJ, it. DJ, you seen Game of Thrones or no? Uh, my mom watched it. Like it's with the dragons. And yes. Stuff. Yeah. Y'all are sleep. Hey, y'all are sleep. You watch the spinoffs that mm-hmm. they have. Of they it? just they oh, a new HBO spinoff series. Yeah. I think I watched House of the Dragon. Yeah, they just finished like season queen. two. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Bro, it's good. It's like before. The I dragons, I could so. talk hours about Game of Thrones. Any of y'all know? Y'all know Game Game of Thrones is. Is one of the goats. Um, next one, favorite artist. What genre? Any, it's just your favorite artist. Who you? Who do you play? Or it could be who you play I'm the most right country. now. Country. I'm going country. All right, we're going. If we're going country, right now it's John Party. Okay. I'm going. We going country. Ooh, I'm going old school. Travis Trick. I don't, I don't even think I don't y'all even know who that is. I do not know who that is. Yeah, that's that's grandpa time. <laughs> and they, if you know who that is, let us know in the comments. Travis I don't. Tritt, I'm telling y'all, the goat. Actually, Joy Strait. There, that's one of them. I'm gonna go Joy Strait because y'all might not know who that is. <laughs> Kaden, you got one. Treaty Oak. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm not even a big. <laughs> I'm not even a big country guy. So y'all, put, y'all putting me on right now. Yeah, they they were, they performed down the road and I missed them because of fall camp. <laughs> All right, uh, next one. Dream nil deal. Oh, see, I said the wrong thing the first time. I know what I want now. <laughs> hey, you've had a few weeks to think about it. Or I'm going to stay the same. <laughs> what you say? I can go. I'll I'm, go doing, I'm doing Tesla. Tesla? You you want a free free whip? I want every. You I want, want a cyber truck? Cyber. I want that Model S. <laughs> J-Sat. Yeah, Tesla. Tesla? Okay. I mean, I'm staying in the same genre. I'm gonna dodge. I want that Hellcat. <laughs> so you got two car, two I car dealerships. I'm going Polo. Polo. Eight. I'm gonna bring some football. Uh-huh. You feel me? Some football mixed with lie, the Polo. Be you got the Polo on right now too. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm hey, trying think to... about football Polo track fits like yours, like that. Exactly. The sport. You know what I'm talking the about? Travel suits. I'll travel suits. Your Polo. I ain't gonna lie. You doing the something? All, right. <laughs> all, all Polo gotta do is go to your Instagram. And they'll see. Nah, I appreciate you. Yeah. All right. Uh, next one. We got most used app on your phone. What do you think it is? Off the top. Huddle. 
huddle. You All said right. that because the coaches are watching. <laughs> I was like, that's, a good, that's the right answer. That's the, that's the right one. Nah, that's the me, right let one. Let me not fake it to y'all, bro. Uh, oh. That's plus 10 teammate chemistry. Clash of Clans. Clash of Clans? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Psycho Code. I, I Psycho no Code. More than like any like regular app. That's, you're on Clash, Clash of Clans more than like Instagram or I'm Twitter. always checking. Yeah, Instagram. That's a good, honestly, that's a good thing, though. Like in class, it'll be like, you're, right, you're basically getting ready. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at it, we're pulling it up real quick. What you got, Jay? Man, really and truly, what Shit, I read, uh, I say YouTube then the Bible app. Good answer. These are good answers. Not what I expect, but I like them. Uh, I'm gonna say Chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> take that one back. Gotta do nah, it. Bro, let me stop. Bro. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you should expose you. You have been giving the best answer possible to, 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 to <laughs> expose yourself. <laughs> All right. Uh, they can't. They can't know. They can't yeah. know about that one. Turn them <laughs> Next one, biggest football ick. When um, when we're in drills or something, and uh-huh. they're not they're not like running off the field, mm. like that. They, yeah, that's that a, that's a real me. leadership thing right yeah, there. That one upsets me. Yeah. Okay. You hear me a lot. I'm always uh-huh. like, get out of your. I scream, get out of your walk. Probably about fifty times to practice. Yeah. <laughs> you need that though. Yeah. What you got, DJ? Mm, biggest football ick. <laughs> Oh, lineman and like small <laughs> cleats. Like you supposed to be wearing big cleats, bro. Mm-hmm. When you be trying to come out there with them <laughs> little small Adidas zeros, I be like, "Twin, come on." I see doing? a couple right now. Yes, over there. we're in the locker room, and come they on. be killing me because then they be the main ones with the injuries, bro. Uh-huh. Talking about and they wonder feet. why. Yes, bro. I have to say, the cleanness of the of the locker room. Facts. It, I don't, I, I have OCD. <laughs> yeah. I can't like. I don't know. We ain't even gonna get into that um, one because yeah. the one I'm right next to. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know what a name drop? Yeah. Nah, we ain't even gonna do that. <laughs> nah. Yeah, the locker room, nah, they cut bro. the mic off. They cut yeah. the mic off. Clean this up. All right. Next one, we got favorite sneakers. Oh. Jay, ready? <laughs> what you got? I got. I say I say some Jordan threes. Jordan threes. Yeah, it's a classic. Jordan threes, fours. I got them on right now. I can't go wrong. Yeah, Birkenstock clogs. <laughs> Kaden got them on too, right? Now. I, I love them. I love them. <laughs> That's some good picks. All right, next one. Go to pregame meal. Skittles. Skittles. Yeah, full Skittles. full Marshawn Lynch. Yeah. Or like, I ain't gonna lie, I be having candy on the field, bro. Like, I Did they let you trainer. No, I tell the trainer okay. like they had a candy in their pocket or something, uh-huh. and I gotta have like some in the game, bro. Cause like I be hungry, uh-huh. bro. I don't know why. Do, do y'all get like snacks at halftime, or then y'all eat? Yeah, we get like Rice Krispies uh-huh. and Ooh, apple. Like, yeah. The you don't, apple you don't you don't mess with the snacks at halftime. No, bro. You bring I your own. You bring. I swear, I be having Jolly Rancher Skittles. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. What about uh, y'all? I gotta have some sweet, bro. Uh huh. Yeah. I'll... Go to pregame meal for y'all too. Like Subway. Subway. I guess. I'm not really picky. Like I'll grab whatever, mm-hmm. whatever's around, or whatever they give us. Honestly. Yeah. But I say, like like Senko said, whatever they give us. But a favorite pregame meal would probably be a chicken breast, mashed potatoes, and a roll. Just to you know, Good so meal. it can get me through the whole. Uh huh. So I won't be hungry. Get me for through sure. The whole game. Uh, next one, favorite hobby outside of football. Favorite hobby? I like going like fishing and stuff. Fishing, like, fishing. Uh, deer season finna come up, so you know I'm I'm on that. But yeah, yeah really, fishing. really fishing and hunting, and I like the hoop outside of you know best. I mean outside of football. Mm-hmm. So. Am I gonna see you out in the murals, DJ? Man, maybe, bro. This old you make an appearance. Hey, this old knee, <laughs> bro. I'm old, old, man. I'm getting old. That knee, I be. If the weather right, I might come outside. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I would say hobby. Yeah, I enjoy playing bingo. Bingo. Yeah, especially on like with my with my grandma, and mom, and dad. We try to go when I'm in San Antonio. We we try to go like every Wednesday. It's What's like up? a thousand thousand dollar night. So you'll see me there Ooh. with all the the old ladies. Yeah, Different <laughs> crowd out there. It's Claudius. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Jay? Uh, I, ain't gonna lie, I like working out. That's working out. Yeah. I should, yeah, I've seen you in the yeah, fitness area, bro. Yeah, you be doing pistol it. squats all the way down. <laughs> yeah, I like working out. All right, some good answers there. Uh, next one. Ooh, favorite food spot in Seguin? You got it. Go ahead. So, 
you can also you can also plug your the, the, you plug, might be the pair the I'm, best food yeah, sponsor. Right. So like <laughs> you feel me? Friday, you know what I'm saying? It's going down. We got the seafood nachos coming up. Uh I sell food here at TLU. Very good. You know what I'm saying? Very, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Delicious tap yourself. in at your own risk. I'm telling you. I mean, if you <laughs> tap in, you're going to get locked. That's all I'm saying. But nah, I really, I cook all type of food. And we work into like some newer, bigger stuff. Hopefully a food truck, you know, in the uh, future. Hey. But another sleeper spot, uh, Texas uh, Crab Company. It's cool. It's a good one. It's, it's, it's cool. I don't know what it's called, but it's downtown. It's uh, like the little sushi spot. Happy, happy. There you go. Uh, Nick, hey. Nick, no. Yeah, that, <laughs> hey, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty good. It's, I enjoy that one. Uh, I have to say Alex Tacos. Okay, yeah. yeah. Alex. Nick, you ever had Noise? No, I ain't, I ain't been. Noise better than Alex, bro. <laughs> I got to go Ooh. then. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we got some comps. Uh-uh. Bro, it's gas. <laughs> I got to go. But yeah, Alex Tacos. All right, next one we got. Favorite football athlete? Mm. You passed or present? I'm going Ed Reed. Ed Reed? Yeah, Ed Reed, just because he used to, I ain't gonna lie, he used to knock, never mind, he used to just knock people out, though. Ed Reed's a legend, yeah. Uh, Johnny Menzel. Johnny Menzel, <laughs> Johnny Football. That era was so... He He's a legend. I, I hate A&M, I'm a Texas guy, but I I can agree, Like he, he changed the game for a yeah, lot of before people. Before games, like... I'll put on like a highlight with mm-hmm. some music in the background and that it just watching him gives like gives me goosebumps. Yeah. Just him the way and, the way he played was crazy. Yeah. Him and Tavon Austin. <laughs> oh yeah. Legendary hey, bro, highlight that tapes. Highlight, that high, oh my god. <laughs> you, 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 you don't even gotta song. be a football you can, fan. Yeah, literally to get, you, you, to can, get, like, you can locked just play in your head right now. <laughs> uh I got two actually. I'll say Sean Taylor. Mm-hmm. For the defensive side and Barry Sanders this cause Barry Sanders. You know he was an undersized back running like back myself, yep. so yeah, them two. Probably my favorite one, for real, for real. Some good picks. All right, close to the end here. Dream vacation spot. Bora Bora. Bora Bora. Great answer. In, any spot that's snowboarding, like okay. Colorado like mountains, or snow. yeah, mountains, yeah. Uh, I'll probably have to say, like, Potacana, somewhere in the uh, Dominican Republic. Okay. Sure. I like that. All right, some good picks. Last one. Biggest go. inspiration in your life. Biggest inspiration? Yeah. Who's your biggest yeah. inspiration? Oh, who's my biggest mm-hmm. inspiration? Uh, I got to give it to that dude, Coach Marshall, bro. Really? Yeah. 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 Like, just on and off the field, man. We didn't build, like, a bonding relationship like that. I don't think none. No, I didn't have with any other coach before. Mm-hmm. And he kind of, like, just remind me of, like, a bigger brother. But, like, yeah. it's like a... He's gonna still get on you. You feel me? Mm-hmm. It's not like it's tough love. Tough love, bro. And like he he expect the best out of me in every aspect in everything that I do. Like he don't accept any mediocrity. So like I give it to Coach Marshall. Uh, it's between two people for me. It's between my dad mm-hmm. or his dad, my grandpa. You know, um, they 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 hold me really uh, accountable for a lot of stuff, and you know they they uh, they uh, how do I say it without like getting emotional. <laughs> you good, bro? You know, uh, they're, they're, always, they're always there for me, you know, mm-hmm. and the love they show me is, like, unconditional. It's it's crazy. Um, and, you know, I, I love them a lot. And, you know, it, they're always there for me thick and thin, mm-hmm. you know, right. teaching me a lesson, disciplining me. I, I I try not to get upset about it because they hold me to a, uh-huh. such a high standard, you know. 100%. So, you know, without them, mm-hmm. I wouldn't be where I'm at. So yeah. I'm, I'm just blessed to have them in my life. Shout <laughs> out to all the dads and grandpas. Yeah, man. shout out to all the dads yeah. and grandpas. Yeah. Right. They mean a lot to me. Yeah. <laughs> what you got, Jay? Uh, first, I would like to say, you know, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. And 100%. Like, uh, DJ, I'm going to spin off DJ. Being here, uh, inspiration, for real, for real. It's like Coach Gus. He's like my grandpa. Yeah. And yeah. I take his <laughs> criticism, this how it is and how mm-hmm. it come, because he knows so much outside of football and of football. And... Like DJ saying with Coach Marshall, me and him got their relationship. Like, yeah. I'm a grandson. That's what I feel like. And he just embraced me. Mm-hmm. And I embrace him with everything that I love and everything I yeah. got. So each and every day I step in here, I do it for him. Uh-huh. And not only him, I do it for Sanko, DJ, the whole team, and every other coach. Nice coaching pressure, staff, so. Nice yeah. pressure. Yeah, shout out to Coach Gus. He was in here. Cleaning up the locker room before we even, before we all even got in here, man. He was yeah. talking. He was that, talking. That dude don't leave. <laughs> that dude does not leave this place. Uh, he, I swear. He, he loves what he does for sure. <laughs> he like sleeps in his office. I swear. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's gonna wrap it up for episode two of Dog Talk, man. 
I appreciate y'all again for coming on. I mean, I hope, so, again, I, we got a lot of love from the, and good feedback from the first episode, so I appreciate y'all. And, man, I appreciate y'all, too, for, yes, for coming on for episode two. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, bro. 100%. Shout out, to, shout out to the soccer boys. Shout out yeah. to TOU Athletics. You know, yeah. Let's hey. get it done. Let's be great. Nah, for real. Hey, <laughs> don't forget to tap in on them plays, bro. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. All right, man. That's going to wrap it up. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. Go dogs. Yes, sir.